our intelligence gathering assets yielded very credible and actionable intelligence about a dangerous and very notorious gang of kidnappers planning to kidnap some high net worth individuals in Lagos. Upon receipt of this intelligence about two weeks ago, CP Fire Day directed the command's tactical teams to commence work on it. They followed up closely and were able to determine that the gang was going to strike yesterday in Ladipo area of Lagos State. The kidnappers who were caught on their ways would not give up easily as they engaged the police officers in a shootout. Nine of them were neutralized, while two escaped with gunshot injuries. Four AK-47 rifles, four locally made semi-automatic pistols, nine AK-47 magazines, three walkie-talkies, one POS machine, and a loudspeaker. There are two operational vehicles, one black Toyota Forerunner, and a blue Lexus RX350. Meanwhile, investigations are ongoing to arrest the fleeing suspects. This breakthrough is in addition to several other breakthroughs we have made in recent times in identifying and apprehending gangs of kidnappers and armed robbers while planning their crimes. Many of these were not made public so as to protect the identity of members of the public that made the information available. We urge everyone, including medical practitioners, to be on the lookout for anyone with gunshot injuries and promptly inform the nearest police station or call any of our emergency numbers. I can confirm that some are from outside Lagos State, some in Lagos State too, uh, but I don't want to mention what part of the country they came from so that I don't run the risk of labeling any part of the country. We know the exact people that we're going to get yesterday. That helped us to lay an ambush for them and they would be victims too are aware we did that diligence to let them know that you just escaped something but they prefer their privacy and would not like to reveal that firearms recovered from them and other things and the vehicles the operational vehicles are there for seven magazines we also have four semi-automatic pistols locally made you can also see a few ways so sometimes before they even get to their hideout they start withdrawing from the victim's account. They also have this lawyer's wig that they put on the vehicle just to look legitimate. These are things that go to the open market. And in case you are wondering what the speaker is for, some of the, the rescue before who have also told us um, during their debriefing how they were um, kidnapped have said the same thing. Once they go into their hideout. When I say hideout, I don't mean bush. In town, amongst us. So once they enter the building, they use the speaker, they start playing music, very loud music. So neighbors think, oh, these guys have started partying again. Meanwhile, they are beating the hell out of their victim. The vehicles, and like I was explaining earlier, one of our operational vehicles unmarked, you can see that they actually aimed at the driver. You can see the bullet hole beside the door. Uh, but luckily, he wasn't hit. We did not record any casualty on our side. The the nine metalized kidnapped. This is the second vehicle of the Kidnappers. 